So the angle of the hypotenuse is... What? Oh. Are we nearly done yet? Well, can we at least take a break? It feels like we've been at this for hours. Okay, fine. Maybe it's only been an hour. But I said feels like, not is. Technically, I'm still right. Hey, I am not being dramatic. I resent that. Besides, are you really trying to argue that this isn't a completely miserable way to spend a sunny day? Today's as good a day as any to study. I think I just threw up in my mouth. What happened to you? Where did I go wrong? I have failed as a best friend. T tell you what, I will forget that that comment ever left your mouth if we just put a pin in this whole boring study session and we go and do literally anything else. What do you mean no? Are you seriously saying that you want to spend today studying? I mean, we could be doing literally anything else. We could be out at the beach, or we could go to the park and, and toss a frisbee around, or, or, or bubbles. Bubbles are fun. We used to do bubbles all the time when we were kids. But, but now, no. It's, 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 it's sad. You're a sad person because you want to be in here. Oh yes. Good old bestie. I know that if I ever need to find you, I just trot into this dank, dark little library and I'll find you huddled in a corner. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> okay. I, I understand the sentiment of wanting to take your studies seriously. But trust me, there is a massive difference between taking your studies seriously and the manic cult-like worship that you display to academic textbooks. It's like you're married to the course syllabus. You know, this is exactly why everyone calls you bookmark. Because you can always be found between two pages of a book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone does call you that behind your back. <laughs> I started that, and yes, I am very proud of it. <laughs> Ow! Tough crowd. Fine then. I suppose we will just spend today huddled in this tiny little room studying. Yeah. Horrid word. All right, all right, I'll keep it down. Jeez. Didn't realise I was sitting next to the librarian. Then again, you're in here so much, I'd be surprised if they didn't offer you a job. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'm going back to studying. Jeez.
Hmm. Ow! What was that for? Stop drinking so loud. Are you serious? Oh, silly question, of course you are. Do you know what? No. No, 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 no. I am done. You hear me? Done. I, I understand that this is your thing, you know, books and all that, but, but I am not wired this way. This is hell for me, but I put up with this because you are my best friend. But honey, this is an intervention. Go outside. Don't give me that. You do not go outside. Dear, you're practically growing moss. You're closer to a fun guy than an actual human being. And when I say fun guy, I don't mean like me. I'm a fun guy, you know, because I go out and I do things and I have fun. But you, 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 you're, you're just, a, you're a mushroom, okay? A fun guy, a mushroom. And not even the cool kind of mushroom. Not like the ones that are like Mario that make him grow big and all that, or the ones with the cool funky patterns. You're like one of those boring, flat, non-mushroom shaped mushrooms that stick to the side of trees. Okay, that was a bit harsh. You are kind of cool. Okay, I suppose you can be a mushroom with a top hat. But you're still... The point stands. You need to go out and do something. You need to be spontaneous. We're only young once. And wasting your life in a library is not the way to do it. You need to be more like me. You need to... You need to put your feet up. You need to stop and smell the roses. You need to... You need to... Stop worrying about everything. Oh please, I've spent enough time in that hellscape you call a mind to know a thing or two about it. And one of those things is, you are always worrying about something. If it's not about education, then it's about your work, and if it's not about your work, then it's about what people think of you, and if it's not about what people think of you, then it's usually about something like money, or your future, or, or anything else. And on the odd chance, on the odd chance that you have nothing to worry about, you then create imaginary situations in your head that you then get stressed about. It's like, how have you not exploded yet? Hmm? Look, I'm, I'm just saying you would maybe benefit from taking a few leaves or a branch out of my book. You'd rather be a worrier than a goofball. Ouch! I'll have you know, I am the... N n no, okay, I, I am a goofball. But you know what? I'm a happy goofball. As long as I'm not breaking the law or, or doing something that's making someone feel upset, then I get to do what I want. I get to put myself first. And that can be from as big as deciding what I want to do that day, uh, to, you know, deciding if I want to go and do something, to, to, to Fred. You know Fred. My hat. Look, 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 look. He's, look. When I squeeze his, his legs, his ears move, look. <laughs> this is Fred. But look, the point stands, okay? I'm wearing this hat because I want to wear it. Am I worried about what people think about me? No. Because why does it matter? And you need to stop finding so many things to worry about. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying become complicit and just let life pass you by. And when we get a little bit closer to exams, sure, I will get worried, nervous, stressed even. But will I let it consume me months ahead of my exams like you have? N no, dear, no, that's, that's not, not healthy. <sighs> I'm not getting through to you, am I? Well then. I guess there's nothing else for it. I'm going to have to use... It. Oh yes, I am quite serious. N no, I know that I promised that I would never pull it in public, but... Desperate times, desperate measures. Remember... You brought this on yourself. Because I am pulling... The best friend intervention card!
That's right, you need to do exactly what I say because this is a best friend intervention. A best friend ovation. French of her. I've had too many fizzy drinks, but that word. I don't care who's looking and I will not sit down. You know the rules of this. You made it when we were kids. Whenever this car is pulled, you need to do exactly what I say. This is a matter of national security, Mr. Madam President, and you need to follow my every instruction if we're going to make it through this. There is a dire attack on my best friend's mind, and it can only be solved with... Ice cream. No, I'm sorry, your best friend has spoken. We are now going for ice cream. Let me just take your book. <sighs> Whoops. It slipped. Nasty thing. Right, come on. We are going for a chat. Because you, my friend, you need more than help. You need triple chocolate chip cookie ice cream. Oh yes. I think you've known me long enough now to know that I'm not going to stop being weird until you do what I say. Now grab your stuff and let's blow this popsicle stand. To go to a popsicle stand. Hmm. Um, anyway, come on, let's go. And who knows? Maybe some time in the sun will help restore your sense of humour. We might be able to salvage for you some kind of personality. Ah, will you stop doing that? <laughs>